spotlight accused by their National Lawyers Association of inhumane and degrading treatment of a person in their custody. And that person happens to be Boss L.A.J., one of the country's most popular and controversial music stars. Here's Umaru Fofana to tell us more. I just want to live my life. I just want my freedom, sings Al Haji Amadouba, better known as LAJ. No better time for him than now for these lyrics. The hip hop artist was arrested on the 12th of June on allegations of robbery. He was taken to Benghazi, a detention facility at the headquarters of the police paramilitary wing. His family and the country's Human Rights Commission have all been denied access to him amid allegations that he had been tortured and his cascading dreadlocks shipped off. The Inspector General of Police, Ambrose Savula, says his officers have done no wrong. He is held in police custody as a result of crime he allegedly committed, that is a robbery. He went to a filling station to purchase gas. He said they have delayed him. They pumped the gas and he snatched the bag from the uh, pump attendant gave him massless beating, jumped into his vehicle and drove off. He is alleged to have been tortured, he's shaved off. Yes, his hair was cut off. That's part of our SOP. The standard operating procedure? Sure, that's it. Because one, for the hygiene of the place. He thought he's been arrested unjustly, so he was using his hair to strangle himself. Was he? Ah, yes, he was. He had wanted to get himself killed. That was not contained in the police press release issued over the weekend. Ah, yeah, the press release was saying this, uh, the SOP and some other reasons. This is the truth, nothing but the truth. LAJ was due in court today. While 12 others arrested over his matter were in the dock, he was nowhere to be seen. His lawyer, Madio C.C., looked bewildered when I asked him about his client's condition. I only saw him last on, um, on Tuesday, so at this point I cannot say. Why not? Why haven't you gone to see him? Well, and they prevented us from seeing him. Who did? Prevented by the police officers. But when I saw him, I, his appearance was completely different from the LAJ I used to know. What did he tell you about this condition under which he was being kept? Solitary confinement, no food, background. We're actually restricting us from getting detailed discussion with him. The police allege that he attempted to commit suicide using his long dreadlocks. Did he tell you that or what did he tell you? Not at all, not at all. I, I never received that instruction from him. That's, that, I mean, dead, um, it's like I'm um, his own, um, that is brand. Are you concerned about his well-being? Sure. The country's bar association has condemned the treatment of LAJ. Michael Charles is their spokesman. It is unacceptable, it is inhuman, and we have to make it very clear that we cannot sit by as an institution like this to see people's rights violated. It is important for the police to know that the constitution exists and the police need to do something about their operations. This is not the first time we have heard of police brutality against civilians. It is notorious and that something has to be done about it. The police say that um, they shaved off his, his dreadlocks because he attempted to strangle himself. We have no way to verify that. And uh, we, you should begin to question yourself whether LAJ will have any reason to strangle himself. There has been outrage on social media over the matter. In a poignant reaction, the country's leading folk singer, Fantasy, has shaved off her 10 feet long dreadlocks, which she had nurtured for 15 years. They don't beat me for you. Tell it, kill me for you. Alleged police brutality has been in this country for generations. But as one old man told me in court today, this latest one conjures up memories of the 1980s, the height of it all. A day for you, baby. Still it's a while for you. Even if the rain and that was the voice of Boss L.A.J., top Sierra Leonean musician who's currently being held by police who have admitted cutting off the artist's massive dreadlocks.